Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I was just packing all my stuff because I go on vacation tomorrow and a update popped up for Space Hulk Deathwing and I had to come in, I had to come back to my computer and do this video for you guys because there is a brand new class added to the game, you can probably tell how excited I am and it is the Chaplain. We have a Terminator Chaplain in game now, the Interrogator Chaplain is in game and he looks amazing let's just spin this guy around look let's just go around look how oh look how awesome he looks he looks absolutely amazing look at his little skull here and his hood and stuff his armor oh it looks so so cool and we've got the crowsies here so you can see like the crowsies weapon just here we've got it brown that way i think it's just the same model on each side but oh what an absolute Fantastic surprise first off and what an absolute fantastic model. This entire update has completely blindsided me. Completely blindsided me. I'm so over the moon about it. I'm so so happy that the devs have actually put this in. I'm hoping now like this is the first stage of seeing some really really big content to do with Deathwing because this is part of the um, enhanced edition which is going to be coming at the end of the and at, at the end of the year they, they're actually doing it in stages now for the PC like testing it all out but at the end of the year for people who don't know it's going to be coming out on console and it's going to be coming out as an enhanced edition for the console if you've got a, uh, the PC version we'll get that free so don't worry about that um, I think now what we should do, we should look at some of the weapons options uh, for this guy and go through them all because there's some fancy new stuff that's been added on here as well. So first, let's take a look at the secondary weapon. So we have the Crozius, which we can see here. We have the Lost Mace of Corswain, which I think is a pre-order bonus. I don't think you can get this anymore. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I definitely think that this is a pre-order bonus when uh, the game first came out on Steam. And we have the Power Fist. Again, it looks really, really nice. I'm trying to make out what it says on the Power Fist. I think it says Slicer? Mm, not too sure. But hey, looks awesome. Um, so yeah, let's just equip the Crozius back because we can't be a chaplain without a Crozius, it's just heresy. Uh, so, as this guy for the main weapon, you can have the Storm Butler down here, which has got a nice fancy skin on it. Uh, you can have the re, uh, the Redemption Butler. You can have the Heavy Flamer, you can go around purging everything with fire. Uh, the Spear of Caliban, so the Plasma Cannon. You can have Dual Lightning Claws as a chaplain. Check this out, Dual Lightning Claw Chaplain just going around. Absolutely awesome so so awesome and this is the new weapon which they've added is a storm bolter mark 2 and it looks glorious i'm thinking that because it's the mark storm bolter mark 2 i think they've based it off the phobos pattern mark 2 bolter so i think that's what it's based off because it actually does look like a phobos pattern design what do you guys think please let me know in the comments i definitely think it's a phobos pattern design mark 2 bolter uh yeah, it's definitely got the look of it, and it just, like I said, it looks glorious. Definitely cannot wait to test this out in game in, in the later part of the video. It looks absolutely incredible. Now, this is where it gets trickier. Uh, since this is a, a, a beta build, and there's still a lot of stuff going on, um, some of the stuff in the class abilities for this guy is in French. Now, I have a friend called Formus who alerted me to this, and he's helped me out kind of with some of the translations. We're try to do our best like some of it's in english like you can see here like spirit of caliban at level four you can unlock the spirit of caliban at level actually sorry spirit of caliban is level three at level four it's something in french again retribution les enemies sabusis I, I didn't do well in french in school um level two is the uh, lunacy of war and heavy flamer uh, again, some of it's in French, some of it is in English. Now, level one, we tried to uh, translate this, and what it basically came out as is that call to arms is, it's like the ability for the tactical, so if you die, well, sorry, if one of your colleagues die or one of your bro uh, brothers die in combat, you can use this ability to bring him back straight away so he doesn't have a, a, a counter to come back, so you can bring him straight back, you can actually redeploy him straight away, so that is what that one means of course all this is a work in progress 
like I said, this is a beta patch, so anything can change. They're still in the testing. I'm going to give them my feedback. For people who are also taking part in it, I'm sure they're going to give their feedback. So a lot of things may change with this character. That Nothing is final at this uh, moment in time. One of the things, actually, because this chaplain is like the big thing added, it's mainly took the limelight away from a lot of really, really good uh, features that have also been added to the game. So they've got a new Psygate system overhaul now. So now you open a portal to the Psygate when you successfully achieve an objective. So that works both in solo and, mul uh, and in multiplayer. You can no longer open side gates at, uh, at, at will. So, for example, you used to be able to just go around and open a side gate and fall back and change stuff. You can't do that now, except during the solo campaign. You can only do that during the solo campaign. So, you have to actually com complete objectives now to open that kind of stuff up, which is good. It makes it a bit more hard. I felt that a little bit cheap last time. Like, if there was a big boss, you, you just use a side gate out, get your health back and go back in with another weapon. So, I'm glad like they've changed... Uh, all that out. This changes to the solo missions. No, so now you can play as a specialized class in special missions. So each class now has its own uh, niche. So instead of being like the jack of all trades, uh, this was made to like make the mode more similar to multiplayer in preparation for the customization system. And that's another thing that's going to be coming soon: a customization system. That is a bit far out, but again, they're on the right road. This is this is the main thing about this game. They're on the right road to making this game great. They're, they're listening to people's feedback. They're listening to, you know, fans' feedback who come on the forums, posting their Discord servers, Twitter, and stuff like that. People are giving all the feedback. They're listening to it. They're taking it on board, and they're trying to make a game which reflects that feedback. So, really, really big props to the developers doing this. Another huge, huge update is the UI. Now, I know a lot of people complained about the UI, and you can probably see here now with some of the icons that the UI has changed. If I actually go back to the menu here now I'm just gonna go actually all the way back to the menu to show it off so we'll load up here now and you can see some of the buttons uh, some of the text that are a little bit different but if for example if I load multiplayer up you can see like the the UI is all changed now so you can you've got the filter system over here codex rules yes no servers full no and for example if I was to host a match let's just put it as 111 111 the greatest password in existence and uh, I go to host a match. You can actually see now when I come to select a mission on the right side when it loads up, that is all changed to make it a little bit more easy to navigate for new players and for old players like myself because I thought it was a bit uh, chunky last time. So it makes it a little bit better. Just click on the arrows back there so I can click on all these missions. So these are the specialist missions with the map SM Chapter 4 and these are just the normal story missions. So yep, yeah, that makes it a lot more easier for people who are coming in, like I said, and for also people like veteran players like me who are uh, a bit niffed off at the old UI system. So again, another fantastic uh, job they've done. Right, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to jump into game. I'm going to show a little bit of gameplay off with a chaplain and just, yeah, basically just to end the video, just to show him purging away. Um, I would love to get your guys' comments uh, on, on this feature. If you've got any suggestions and stuff, post them below because I'm going to link this to the developers and I'm sure... They will read it and uh, see your guys' feedback and, hey, maybe you may, you may suggest a feature which gets put into the game. How cool would that be? So, right, enjoy the footage and let's purge, brothers. Okay, we are in-game. I've got two apothecaries here, so hopefully I will not die. You can actually see some of the UI changes now, like some of the maps, some of the icons above uh, the actual play on the right-hand side. It's a lot more neater now, a lot more tidier than last time. You can see some of the abilities at the bottom as well. Maybe if I open my map. Do we have anything? Yeah, look, we've actually got some cool stuff down here. So next turret, block door, operational door. So all these new uh, stuff on the map now to just, again, just to help new players out. And okay, here comes a lot of Tyranids. Let's see if we can get some combat going in the Emperor's name, brothers. Oh, that feels nice shooting. Okay, I think that was a bug. That was a bug. It was it just went all black. I thought I died. Man, these guys are coming from everywhere. Get back, brother.
Man, this gun's got a bit of kick to it as well. It's really a close quarter combat gun. It's not like a range gun. Look, look at the kick. The Crozis is quite slow as well when I'm swinging it. It's a quite slow gun. But the Crozis looks amazing. I, I wish I could read the text. It says, I think, I think I'll have to like do a separate video about that. I think I'll have to like get it in like some proper light or something. But that is, that is cool. I absolutely love that. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm at the wrong area down. Oh, Holy Emperor. I think the sound for this uh, Mark II Bolter could be a little bit more stronger. It feels a little bit tinny at the moment. Oh, holy Emperor Protect. For the Emperor's vengeance, you shall perish. Well, this is it. This is my last stand. I shall not be moved. In the Emperor's name. Melee time. I think they changed like the blood effects as well. I think that blood was like a little bit more thicker. Oh, we survived. These two guys are just healing themselves. These two guys got themselves covered. I'm gonna go... Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna go through there. Okay, guys, you know what? That is it. That's all I'm going to show off. I, I, I don't want to spoil too much. I want to try and do a stream. If I've got enough time, I'll try and do a stream of this. Maybe before I go away. Maybe, but no promises. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave your comments down below. I'd love to get your feedback on this. Uh, and I shall see you all very, very soon. If not, then I shall see you all in two weeks when I get back off vacation. So everyone have a great time. And I shall be seeing you soon. See you, chaps. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.